Hey everybody, welcome back to the Slime Fun Tutorial here on my channel. I'm your host Boomer and today we're going to talk about slimy tree taps. And you figure, why are we talking about trees who are slimy? What's going on? Well, as you guys know, in Slime Fun, one of the harder to obtain resources is oil. While you can mine in deep oceans and get 65 to 75 buckets each time you go, it's non-renewable and eventually the world's going to run. I mean, granted, it would take a lot, but it could run out or becomes very hard to obtain enough plastic to make androids. Slimy Tree Taps gives us the ability to make renewable plastic and you don't need to geomine either. So let's dive right into this. To begin with, you have manual ways to obtain the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, to obtain the sticky resin that we need. So we have three manual tree taps. Each one of these has a increasing chance to get resin when you right click a log. So the first one, it's a 12% chance. So on average, I should have to click, you know, up to eight times. Now you'll notice they're not coming super fast, right? Again, 12% chance. I might break the tap before I get all six. Wow, that was a really tough one. And I did. I broke the tap before I got all six. As I go to the reinforced one, you'll see I'm getting it a little bit faster. 24% chance. So there was a one in four chance there. And the diamond is 32. So essentially about one in three. So if you have a ton of logs lying around, it's a great way that you can get them to start with. Now... You can also do this main, uh, fully automated too if you have a tree farm. So you have, just off the top of my head, I can think of four ways to get wood fully automated. Woodcutter Android, Infinity Expansions, Virtual Tree Farm, Dynatex Growth Chamber, and actually a fifth way. Fourth would be Light Expansion UU Matter, although that's going to be kind of expensive. Fifth matter would be EMC Tech. All right, so let's do this. Let's drop a stack of logs into the resin extractor. One stack of logs is going to yield two plastic sheets. And since wood is totally renewable, this becomes a very viable and easy source for obtaining plastic. So let's go ahead and grab two sticky resin to start with. This is going to be turned into rubber. We need two rubber to create a raw plastic sheet. So 32 logs ultimately we'll make one plastic. So now we're going to take our two rubber. This is going to give us uh, raw plastic and then through the rubber factory we'll turn the raw plastic into a plastic sheet. This entire process is fully automatable, works with cargo as well as networks. And so within a period of about, what was that, less than a minute, we've turned 32 logs into our plastic sheet. Now granted, you know, the Android interfaces, for example, require five. So two and a half stacks of wood. But again, wood is completely fully renewable, multiple different ways. So that gives us the ability to create a never ending supply of plastic sheets. Now there is something else in Slimy Tree Taps that we haven't talked about yet. And that is this. I have never once, up until today, I have never even crafted the magical mirror. I never even looked at it. I didn't understand what its purpose was. I'm like, I've got all the different ways to teleport it in a server method, much less within slime font. And this is another way to create essentially an unlimited teleporting system back to different locations. Because the nice thing is you actually take these with you and then you can simply place them down into an item frame right click on them and as long as you have an ender pearl in your inventory it'll take you to that bound location so let's look at the recipes of this along the way real fast before we actually do it so to make a mirror and you have to forgive me my server is having the same issue that a lot of people do where it can't connect to the moyang head database and my blue ender pearl texture is not there so it's four glass four amber and a blue ender pearl all right we can create um, the blue ender pearl through four amber blocks, four blocks of lapis, and an ender pearl. So you can make a block of amber by harvesting amber, which is nine. You can harvest amber via a tree scraper. So again, I can right click the log, there's my tree scraper. And again, it is a chance, right? It is not a guarantee. 
Um, you can also put four sticky resin in a smeltery. So you have two ways to obtain it, manually or, again, wood into the extractor and then send that automatically into a smeltery. So this process can also be fully automated. So let's do this. Let's take this and we're going to bind it. And again, I'm going to call it, we're going to call it Slimy Tree Farm, right? So this is where I'm going to come to my Slimy Tree Farm. Let's turn on my coordinates. You can see I'm at approximately minus 1,000 by minus, we'll just call it minus 2,000. Uh, let's go to, let's say 3,000, whoops, 3,000 minus 62, 1563. All right, let's place down an item frame. Let's get in a survival for this just to make sure nothing fishy happens. Let's put our ender pearl in the item frame. So right now that is bound to my slimy tree farm. If I right click it, I've got my ender pearl. Watch my coordinates. I'm now back to my tree farm. Instantaneous. This is almost as fast as being able to, you know, type your home and go. Now here's the downside. I got to go back all the way to get my tree farm, right? Or to get my teleportation device. So what you could theoretically do is set up a shulker box. And if you've got 20 of these locations, right, put them in two shulker boxes and keep a spare or have one that can always let you go back. So uh, maybe if you have duplicates of them, that's the one downside to it is that you do have to have the physical mirror to be able to get somewhere. So at some point, if I want to retrieve that, I have to teleport back to that one spot. But again, it gives you options. Or you keep a few of these. Maybe you do four or five and you keep that many of each in a shulker box. And that way you can get anywhere at any time. Or simply you place them all down, right? We come down, we lay down a ton of item frames at each of those locations that lets us go wherever we want. And then we simply have to carry ender pearls and we don't have to worry about carrying around all the mirrors. Craft yourself, let's say if you have 20 locations that you want to set, you craft 20 of each, you place them down on item frames, and boom, there you go. Just be representative to this or careful to the server because, again, item frames can help create lag. So be smart when you do it. But, guys, that is Slimy Tree Taps. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Again, look forward to hear your comments and feedbacks. But as always, when we're playing Slime Fun, you got to go, Boomer, or you got to go home. We'll see you later.